tens of thousands of firearm dealers across the country will now be required to make sure those who buy from them can legally purchase a gun. It's similar to a law that went into effect in Michigan a few months ago. Officials expect the new rule to face legal challenges. A citizen is a rare person who can say that they don't know someone who has been shot. A problem that affects nearly every American. The number one cause of death for children and teens in the United States and, and in the state of Michigan. Firearm homicide is the number one cause of death for young black men. And it's in the top five causes of death for you know younger Americans. Dr. April Zioli says gun violence touches tens of millions, but the director of the Institute for Firearm Injury and Prevention at the University of Michigan hopes that soon changes. We expect that, you know, when people have to have to do this, have to go through that background check, um, that it makes people less likely to try to buy a gun by lying. On Thursday, the U.S. Department of Justice and Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms and Explosives finalized a new rule which mandates people who sell guns online, by mail or at flea markets and firearm shows run a background check on buyers. It stems from bipartisan legislation passed by Congress in 2022 that subjected more individuals to that requirement. If someone is restricted from having a gun because they're under a personal protection order, you know, maybe they used a gun you know, during the domestic violence and the judge says, you can't have a gun right now. Mm -hmm. If they can just go and you know, buy a gun at a gun show or online you know, without a background check, then they're not really being prevented. Mm -hmm. And that person that they victimized, their intimate partner, isn't any safer. Zioli says research indicates universal background checks reduce the number of suicides and homicides that involve a gun. Data released from ATF last week shows 54% of illegally trafficked firearms came from unlicensed dealers between 2017 and 2021. If somebody is purchasing or securing a firearm without a background check in Indiana, for example, they can easily bring that gun into Michigan. State Senator Mallory McMorrow says the rule brings other states in line with Michigan. Last year, the state legislature passed its own universal background check law, which went into effect in February. The impact of it remains unknown, but she believes safer communities will eventually be created. Our laws can only be so effective if there's still a patchwork around the country. So what I am encouraged by with the DOJ and the Biden administration is doing everything they can. I did reach out to a handful of gun rights groups across the state to get their input about the rule, but none of them got back to me in time for this story. The DOJ estimates 20,000 unlicensed sellers will be subject to it. Reporting in the studio, Marisa Oberly, Fox 17 News.